Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series. This is episode 17, and today we're tackling one of the most overlooked causes of micro stutters and delayed frame pacing in Windows 11, TSC Desync, the timestamp counter drifting between your CPU cores. If you've got a hybrid CPU like Intel's 12th, 13th, or 14th gen or AMD X3D, this one's for you. You might have perfect GPU usage, low latency, and yet frames still stutter slightly, or input feels off rhythm. That's often caused by dynamic timer scaling. Windows can't decide which clock source to use. In this video, we'll fix that permanently, safely, with five steps that lock Windows to a stable, consistent hardware timer model. No random hitches, no frame pacing inconsistencies, just clean timing across all cores. Let's dive in. Step one, check your timer source before we touch anything. We're starting from a clean slate. Before making any changes, it's essential to identify exactly which clock source Windows is currently using. This ensures that we know our baseline and can properly measure any improvements or regressions later. Open Command Prompt Admin and run the following command. BCD Edit slash enum. Now look carefully for any lines that mention use platform clock, use platform tick, disabled dynamic tick. If none of these entries appear, that means Windows is using its default hybrid clock configuration, which typically blends TSC, timestamp counter, and HPET, High Precision Event Timer. This combination works fine for general use, but can introduce inconsistencies for performance-sensitive tasks like competitive gaming or real-time processing. Next, let's confirm which timers your system is actively running at the moment. Open PowerShell and run the following command. Watch the output for a moment. If you notice that the timestamp fluctuates or seems to jump irregularly, especially on multi-core or multi-socket systems where timing drift can occur between cores, that's a strong indicator that your clock source isn't fully stable. Note, Windows dynamically switches between the TSC, HPET, and ACPI timers depending on system load and energy saving conditions. This adaptive behavior is great for laptops and energy efficiency, but it can lead to micro stutters or inconsistent frame pacing in gaming scenarios where timing precision is critical. By identifying your current setup, you'll know exactly what you're working with before making any modifications. Step two, force stable TSC policy via registry. New method. Now we're getting into something newer. Instead of using BCD Edit, we'll go straight to the source, the Windows Kernel's internal timer policy settings. By editing these directly, we can stop Windows from dynamically switching its timing behavior, which leads to a more stable and consistent system clock. First, press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and hit Enter to open the Windows Registry Editor. Once it's open, navigate to the following path. Inside the Kernel key, right-click on the right panel and choose New D Word for each of the following entries. Here's what you'll need to create and what each one does. Use Platform Clock. Set this to zero. This prevents Windows from forcing HPET, High Precision Event Timer, usage ensuring it continues to rely primarily on the faster and more stable TSC, timestamp counter. TSC sync policy, set this to one. This locks the system to a constant TSC synchronization policy, reducing inconsistencies that can occur when multiple cores or sockets drift out of sync. Global timer resolution requests, 
set this to zero. This stops background programs or services from altering the system's timer resolution dynamically, helping maintain a consistent tick rate. Enable dynamic tick. Set this to zero. This completely disables Windows dynamic tick feature, preventing micro tick drift that can introduce minor frame pacing or latency issues. Force TSC calibration. Set this to one. This instructs Windows to recalibrate the TSC frequency during boot, ensuring precise and stable timing across all cores. After entering all these values, simply close the registry editor. No restart is required immediately, though a reboot is recommended to ensure all changes take effect cleanly. Step three, calibrate and resync timers via CMD. Now that we've locked in a stable TSC policy through the registry, it's time to refresh and reinitialize Windows internal timer configuration. This ensures that the kernel starts clean with your new settings and that all hardware timers are synchronized correctly. Open Command Prompt Admin. You can do this by typing CMD into the Start menu, right-clicking Command Prompt, and selecting Run as Administrator. Then, enter the following commands one by one. Reset all timer sources. These commands remove any pre-existing overrides or legacy timer flags that might still be active from previous configurations. This step ensures Windows isn't forcing specific timer modes that could conflict with your newly established TSE-based policy. Next, we'll recalibrate the timing system and make sure all hardware timers are in sync. Run Recalibrate All Hardware Timers. Once that's done, give your system a moment under light load, open a few apps or move your mouse around, and observe performance consistency. If your frame pacing, input response, and clock speeds remain stable without any fluctuation, it's a good sign that your TSC synchronization is working exactly as intended. To revert these changes, if you ever notice issues with system sleep, hibernation, or power management on laptops, you can safely re-enable Windows Dynamic Tick feature by running the following command. This returns the system to its adaptive timing behavior, allowing Windows to conserve energy by pausing timer ticks during idle states. Step 4. Lock Windows Timer Resolution and Prevent Drift. Now that we've established a stable TSC synchronization, the next step is to make sure no background applications can interfere with your system's timer behavior. Many programs, including web browsers, game overlays, and screen recording software, use the Time Begin Period API to force the timer resolution down to 0.5 milliseconds or even lower. While this can improve responsiveness in some cases, it often leads to unnecessary wake-ups, higher CPU usage, and timer desynchronization over time. To prevent this, open the Windows Registry Editor. Press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and press Enter. Once inside the Registry Editor, navigate to the following path. Under this key, you'll add or modify a couple of important values. Perform Enable Package Idle. Set this value to zero. Doing so prevents CPU packages from entering deep C states or low power sleep states that can sometimes cause timer drift or desynchronization when the system wakes. Coalescing Timer Interval. Set this value to one. This helps reduce drift between scheduled timer intervals, improving overall consistency in how Windows manages timing events. After applying these registry edits, it's a good idea to verify that your system's timer resolution is holding steady with a quick PowerShell command. And that's how you fix micro stutters caused by dynamic TSC desync in Windows 11 and Windows 10 hybrid builds. By enforcing constant TSC mode, disabling dynamic tick, and stabilizing the system timer resolution, you remove one of the most subtle but real causes of frame pacing inconsistency in modern games. 
if you noticed smoother input, cleaner frame pacing, or better frame time graphs in tools like CapFrame X, then your system is now properly synchronized. Everything we did is safe, reversible, and directly compatible with both Intel and AMD hardware. Next in the Tweaking Tools series, we'll go deeper. Fix CPU frequency drift, advanced P and E core synchronization for hybrid processors. That one links CPU scheduling directly with this timer setup. Thanks for watching. Tweak smart, test carefully, and enjoy the new micro stutter free experience.